HMD Global, pemegang lisensi untuk nama ponsel Nokia, meluncurkan ponsel 5G Nokia X30 yang diusung sebagai ponsel paling ramah lingkungan. Sustainability is a global major theme that should concern everyone. And we in our, in the, in the consumer electronics industry, are definitely a contributor uh, with the big amounts of consumer products people are buying because they're so popular. So we have to take responsibility and look what can we do to make sure people can enjoy their phones, but they also leave the smallest possible footprint. Selain bahan aluminium dan plastik hasil daur ulang, serta bahan karton kemasan daur ulang juga, HMD Global menawarkan layanan circular yang mendorong pengguna lebih lama memakai ponsel Nokia mereka, lalu membelinya kembali dari konsumen agar menyelamatkan dari harus dibuang dan menjadi sampah elektronik alias e-waste. Not all materials can be uh, uh, replaced easily. But that's where our commitment as part of Circular, we're saying our Circular subscription service is truly Circular because it is not just a buyback program where you would buy back somebody's phone and then you would sell it on the second-hand market. No, we keep the phone from the beginning through the life cycle all the way to the end and at the very end we will also ensure that it's recycled sustainable and we maximize the amount of raw materials we can still capture from this. Ponsel Nokia terbaru juga tidak menyertakan charger berkabel khusus dalam kemasannya seperti yang biasanya dijual bersama dengan ponsel. Langkah serupa sebelumnya dilakukan oleh Apple dengan peluncuran iPhone 12. Asumsinya orang yang sekedar mengupgrade ponsel dari ponsel sejenis sudah memiliki aksesoris yang dibutuhkan untuk charger. Tapi bila mereka belum memiliki, maka mereka harus membeli secara terpisah. Samsung pun akhirnya menempuh langkah serupa. Dan inilah yang menurut analis masih menjadi kendala bagi produsen ponsel untuk sepenuhnya ramah lingkungan dan menekan e-waste. On mobile phones, there are some elements that are very difficult to manage. There are materials in there like lithium, like all of the gold and copper and other things that are in there. But I actually think the approach that HMD Global is taking is perhaps a little bit more forward thinking, which isn't we can fix all of those issues, but more saying, well, we just need people to keep their phones for longer. That on its own would make a massive in impact on the e-waste. And if when those phones reach end of life, they can be reused, which is another element that they want to try and tackle, it could have a very positive impact for the industry. Sejumlah organisasi internasional memperkirakan ponsel dan komponennya mencakup sekitar 10% sampah elektronik dan sejauh ini hanya sedikit komponennya yang akhirnya bisa didaur ulang menjadi ponsel baru. Dari Washington DC, Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.